The concept of rest have been heavily on my mind lately. There was a point in time where I didn't even know what rest truly meant. I don't know about you, but I feel a sense of guilt and shame when I want to rest and relax. I'm self-aware enough now to know that productivity gives me a sense of worth. In a world of overfilled calendars and schedules, I feel like I have to be doing something all the time. I also find it really hard to slow down because I'm passionate about a lot of things and want to do them all. I never wanted to be seen as an idle or lazy person. I wish there were more hours in a day because maybe then I can tame my never ending to-do list. Artists often have a hard time resting because with a creative business, you have to wear a lot of different hats. But I know I need rest because I'm tired and feel like my creative well is drying up. I've been wondering, what started the hustle culture? And is it even healthy for artists? I know there's pleasure found in creating something beautiful or powerful, but failing to rest from creating means setting yourself up for creative burnout. At some point, we have to take a pause to check in with our mind, body, and soul. I felt the end of the year fatigue and knew that I needed to take a break. With so many distractions and responsibilities vying for our attention, I feel like too many of us have built unhealthy cycles of rest, which then lead to burnouts. My birthday was a few weeks ago and I spent the day resting and reflecting on my life. I was reminiscing about my great aunt who I briefly lived with when I was a young girl. She was Seventh-day Adventist and observed Sabbath every Saturday. She was very calm, peaceful, and moved at a slow pace. I was young, so I assumed she moved so slow because she was an elderly. But it dawned on me that it was actually a way of life for her. While everyone else was always busy, she was very intentional about her rest and was still able to get things done at a slower pace. One day I asked her to explain Sabbath to me and I remembered she said, it's a way to implement a rhythm of rest in her life while getting closer to God. In her faith, Sabbath is a gift from God that's meant to renew us and help us thrive.
One of my intentions for this year is to learn the principles of practicing Sabbath. But I can't help but wonder if it's realistic in today's fast-paced culture. Resting is something I rarely think about. So I did some research and found this book called Sacred Rest by Dr. Sandra Dalton-Smith, where she explains there's seven types of rest, physical, mental, social, spiritual, sensory, emotional, and creative rest. Reading this unlocks something within me because it explained why I still feel exhausted even after sleeping for eight hours. I was fascinated by this theory and took a quiz to see in which area I was lacking rest and it all made sense. Now I won't go through all seven types of rest so that this video isn't too long, but if you're interested in learning more and taking the quiz, please click the link in the description. According to the test, I was lacking in emotional, social, and creative rest. I wasn't surprised about emotional and social, but creative rest resonated profoundly with me. I bring this up because I believe artists need creative rest the most to not only spark inspiration, but to also keep the creative juices flowing. If we never stop and rest, we never get to fully enjoy what we have created. So if you have a hard time brainstorming ideas or even problem solving, then you need to take a creative rest. You can do this by allowing yourself to appreciate beauty in any form. Spending time in nature, listening to music, baking, journaling, coloring, reading poetry, and surrounding yourself with your favorite works of art can help you recharge and refresh your ability to create. This year, I'm welcoming the invitation to make rest a reality without feeling guilty. Rest is something sacred and worthy of our respect. It is in the rest where we can go within and allow our minds to open up to something bigger than us. So nourish yourself, stay hydrated, get plenty of fresh air, and allow yourself to pause and rest. Please visit my website to purchase originals, prints, commissions, or art lessons. Plus, don't forget to join my mailing list to stay up to date on my latest projects and art news. Also, check out this video, The Art of Simplicity, to learn about the benefits of slow living and relaxation.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Remember, you are worthy of rest. See you soon.